all right i'm back to play uh some more call of duty crazy i know um I, i've noticed my last few gameplays like the last <laughs> i say few like the last i don't know three call of duty games i wasn't really paying attention to the audio levels like hardly at all when i was playing them and um the game's way louder than my voice in a lot of cases so sorry about that but for the two people that actually watch my videos i'm apologizing to you because <laughs> that's about all the views i get on my gameplays um so i'm gonna try in this video to be a little more conscious about the audio levels um i got my mic a little higher than i usually do and i got the game maybe a little lower than i usually do so i'm just gonna play it by ear um i'm gonna look at the audio levels visual and all that crap anywho let's get into this game i um i've said this since i started playing the call of duty games and doing this call of duty a thon is um um this is the last one that i can remember playing at least i think it is if i start like on a, on a moon base or something like that or early in the game there's a moon base if i'm on the fucking moon then it's the last game that i played not counting like blackout and warzone and shit like that um the multiplayer games so i remember i thought this game was cool that's it we're gonna get into it we're going to do a new game because i can't resume anything yeah we're gonna play on recruit because i i always play on the easy difficulty because i'm just trying to get through the game y'all i'm not trying to like get my ass handed to me a million times needs of our planet were greater than she could supply. So we went beyond the reaches of our atmosphere. The new frontier offered the promise of a new beginning. But the distance gave way to a movement with no connection to the place we call home. New rules, new ambitions, a new enemy. The Settlement Defense Front built an army and broke away from the Earth with blood and violence. They aren't revolutionaries. They want absolute power. They raid colonies, take resources, and control territories by force. They use their fleet to block us from raw materials we need to survive. Their mission is to erase everything Earthborn. Today, the SDF is a war machine, ruled by its military. If a leader united that force, they would mobilize and try to take our homeland. Copy one one. One of our weapons facilities is under attack by the SDF. We believe this is part of an operation codenamed Raya. Intel suggests their target is a prototype weapon. Your team will extract the prototype and torch the site before SDF can locate it. Understood, Warlord. We'll get it done. One minute! Friendlies! Facility's dark. We get our weapon, torch the site. Gear check! OMA systems online. Rules of engagement. Oh. Whoa. That was weird. Sorry about that. Weapons free. Good to go. Ten seconds. Door! Green lights go on. Green light. Call it wolf. Go! Go, go! Stay tight. Well, I guess I just I just f f follow this guy. Oh yeah. This is the game. 
Draper. This guy's a boots on the ground. Copy, 1-1. One, one. The insert is a vertical drop. Go to your position. Copy. On the move. Breaking two targets below. Boost down. Take them out. God, man. So I've stayed point. Imagine that you're just standing there. <laughs> this fucking dude just falls on you with rocket boots. <laughs> oh. Oh. Entry point's 30 meters dead ahead. Keep moving. Reaper, we're approaching the entry point. Be advised, we've encountered steady SDF presence. Thermal is spotty at your depth, so stay alert. Stand fast. Sentry's on top, second deck. Wolf, take one, we got the others. Got three more coming up. I appreciate you can switch the site without having to uh, like look down it. That's pretty cool. Oh, I appreciate that. God damn. That's cool. See, that's why I like shit set in like a future scenario because you can you can do whatever you want. You know, it it was like playing a ghost or not ghost. Um well ghost to a certain extent, but uh Reaper, we're in R and D. Move into the armory. Copy, be advised. SDF is almost inside. Operation Riot cannot succeed. Once the weapon is secure, I can activate the self destruct sequence. Copy. Uh Black. Black Ops 3. Jesus. Every time I go to say something, these fucking games, they start talking. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. Fuck you, game. I got the word out. Fuck you. That's our mark. Oh. It makes me so fucking mad. I can't do commentary in this fucking game. It's not that I, you can hear me anyway in my other games. Um, are there like col collectibles and shit? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Not like, uh, not like Black Ops. Alright. Tech. The Raya operation were after this. 
Reaper, weapon secure. Confirming execute order and self destruct. Roger, initiating self destruct sequence. Be advised, SETDEF has 50 plus infantry machines inbound. You need to get out of there now. Copy, we're Oscar Mike. RV in five. Clock's ticking, let's move. You know, I really need to look that up. What the fuck does Oscar Mike mean? Like, I, I know it seems to be like you're you're leaving, right? I guess. Oh damn! The fucking proton pack. Oh yeah. What am I supposed to do there? Oh, I guess I should probably kill the rockets first, huh? Reaper, weapon secure. Confirming execute order and self destruct. Roger, initiating self destruct sequence. Be advised, SETDEF has 50 plus infantry. Um. You need to get out of there now. Copy, we're Oscar Mike. RV in five. Clock's ticking, let's move. Attention, self destruct active. All personnel must clear the area. All right, kill the rocket launcher first. Ah, no more rockets for you, bitch. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we don't make it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we make it. It's all very sad. Get him up, you need to... 
catch your breath, Jim. How many did you come with? Where is it? What about the airship we shot down? My men need medical. Be careful, your men. Cam stopped transmitting. It's been 18 hours, no contact. Set def's made no demands. Settlement Defense Front doesn't make demands. They planted a flag in our rock. They executed three men and shot down a pilot. Our team was sent to secure classified weapons from a closed facility. That facility is a black site, Admiral. Why the hell is Set def allowed in that airspace? By permission of the Accords, all nations have access to Sir, three... that objective required a full strike force, not a four-man team. Lieutenant Reyes. I implore you to use diplomacy in this office. Take a different tact. Yes, sir. Who else knows about this? Right now, Joint Strategic Air Command and you. This is a deliberate act of aggression, Admiral. We should be out there on patrol, not down here throwing confetti. The rules of engagement prohibit definitive action under these circumstances. So we stand by with our barrels in the sand and we watch a Fleet Week parade? Lieutenant Reyes, Make no mistake, my instincts, which are aligned indelibly with your own, are that we need to engage. Why don't we, sir? They're politicians, Reyes. They'll wipe hell's ass with whatever flag keeps the smokestacks burning. To these men, the idea of mounting an offensive triggers a fresh and unplanned piss. Until there's war, the warriors aren't in charge. But, sir, by the time there's war, it's too late. Hesitation is a hole in the head. You drilled that into us relentlessly in flight school. Work the problem. Respond. You were always a fast learner, Lieutenant. STRATCOM is well aware of our grievances. At this time, no use of force is being considered on an operational level. These are the laws of war, son. Thank you for the briefing, sir. Admiral Reigns, E3N is in position on the roof. Thank you, Petty Officer. What is E3N? Go take a look for yourself. I think you'll be quite impressed. Dismiss. How many? Four. KIA. Europa? Front was already there. Took out the whole team. Looted the site. Son of a bitch. This fool each stuff is nonsense. We should be up in our jackals flying watch. Admiral doesn't disagree. Captain Alderno? Negative. Today, retribution isn't a warship, it's a parade float. Whole fleet here in Geneva? Doesn't seem right. We do this every year, Saul. Well, let's not miss the party. After you, Lieutenant. Thanks, Slick. The, the, the audio for the cutscenes is pretty low. Come on, we'll take the scenic route. And now it's louder. I guarantee you these are all devs or something. Not a list you want to make. Peace to the fallen. Welcome to Fleet Week.
See, I love shit like this. I, I just, I eat this kind of setting up. So cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The ceremony with us. Make sure you don't call him that. Never. To his face. Make a hole. Right this way, lieutenants. The service has its perks. We got a plane to catch. Coming up is the UNS. Same rank. You got me there, Lieutenant. Oh, I seem to remember there's flying missions in this game. I like I kinda dimly remember that. Retribution reporting to Captain Alder. Program for combat? Thoroughly, ma'am. Born to kill. You look like you can kick some serious ass. Well, now you're just making me blush, sir. Step aside, Ethan. This old goat can still climb. Welcome aboard, Admiral. Well, now that we're all acquainted, let's get up and away. Roger, Admiral. <laughs> Well under the radar, Admiral. Captain Alder knew. First troop ready model. Quite remarkable. We're revealing him at the ceremony today. You know I got stage fright, right, sir? You got feelings, Ethan? I do, Lieutenant. I do. I carry the brain of a human farmer. Holy shit, are you serious? No, ma'am. Not at all. <laughs> you got you, Lieutenant. Did not. Adis guns are working overtime today, huh, Admiral? A lot of Allied traffic. Always vigilant, Lieutenant. You familiar with the air intercept systems, Ethan? Earth's Iron Shield. Major firepower. Vengeance, this is Raven 6. We're on final approach. Copy 6. Vengeance is awaiting your arrival. Admiral, sir. What is it, Ethan? The Aegis guns. They appear to be tracking our fleet. Incoming! Oh, Ethan's cool. It kind of reminds me of a Titanfall character. Um, or that one character from uh, Apex Legends. Uh, I, I can't remember his name.
Where are these? Oh, fuck, I forgot the cars. What the hell is this? Man, these things are oh shit. These robots are a lot sturdier than the ones from Black Ops 3.
Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, they like do the kamikaze thing I was talking about in uh, Black Ops 3. Well, all right then. Oh my. Oh, that was cool.
Report! 3-1 on station. Oh, God, what is happening? Okay. Help! Request for fire. Target is marked. Roger. Target acquired. Shots out. Shots out. Roger. Set up a perimeter. Scars are moving interior. Whew. This is just silly. Patch into Ada security. I want eyes in that room. Yes, sir. Steam to your hose now. Ten ships remain. The UNSA fleet is finished. Moving to Ada's system destruct now. Mars and Terry. We gotta go now. Ethan, go! <laughs> I say again, jackpot. Relieve the bot. Take the prisoner into custody. Petty officers, get that ADIS back up. We still got enemy ships in our airspace. Right away, Admiral. Sato forces are trenched in outside, setting up a fob. Good. Let's get a look at this son of a bitch. You'll need medical. I need nothing. He's got an employee ID. That's him. Michael Aaron Page, Mechanical Engineering Department, two years. SDF sleeper cell. That's not my name. That is the moniker of an earthen fool. What is your name? Commander Akil Minraya of the Settlement Defense Front. The operation on Europa. You started a war, and I will finish that war. Aegis guns are moments away from acquiring enemy targets, Admiral. Fast work, Ethan. Well done. You prolong the inevitable. Get him out of here. Ars Eternum. Stand fast, Marines. Give me five minutes with this bastard. Salt. So many innocent people, Reyes. Let's get out there and fight for him. <laughs> Roger. Where it goes, sir. Let's move. That was awesome. Yeah, oh, oh, Pathfinder. That's the name of the character from uh, Apex Legends. I was thinking of Pathfinder. You get caught up in the path. Oh. All stations, this is Scar One One. Adis is back under UNSA control. I say again, we have control of Adis. That depth's retreating. Raider to main, Lieutenant Salter and I need Bird. Aye, sir. Three two will escort to your position. Solid copy. <laughs> All right, 
Affirmative. All right, let's pray the the keyboard and mouse controls are good. Yeah, so far the controls are pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I, I remember there was like flying missions like this in the in the jets and I, I remember really liking them. I thought they were super cool. Let's get back to the red. Um I'm getting some abnormal readings. Same. Checking static. Scars, concentrate all fire on that super carrier. Model. You are defeated. Death is no disgrace. 
What the hell happened, Gator? <laughs> Multiple casualties from the crash maneuver, sir. I need a stretcher over here. Lieutenant Reyes, we need you up here right away. Bridge out. Copy an assault. Yeah. That was cool. This game's cool, man. Sacrifice our crew when we're overrun. Let's get to the bridge. Shit. They got us. I should have grabbed him. Captain protects his men, Salt. He should have pulled back. Oh, you're supposed to go alone? Oh, oh. I want to see what's down here. Not much of a parade now, huh, Lieutenant? Oh man, we like got our wig split out there. It was bad. It was bad. Let's do it. I'll help you, Lieutenant. Staff Sergeant Omar. No easy call, your captain, mate. Uh, it cost us some good men. Didn't have to happen. Not like that. All due respect. The captain did his duty. Drove the enemy into retreat. Captain's duty is to get his men home alive, Staff Sergeant. Not always, Lieutenant. Not always. Make way for the captain. Where is he, boats? Where's Captain Alder? Right here, sir. Gator. Captain's dead. Went down with his ship. XO? No longer with us, ma'am. All this happened in the crash? 
Yes, sir. So who has the con, Gator? Is the highest-ranking officer on board? I believe you do, sir. Destroyer Tigris is docking a shuttle to come aboard. Roger that. You spinning radar? Still turning, sir. Get Raven transport set for evac. I want our casualties outbound right away. Drop officer, coordinate with engineer and get us mobile. Roger. Engineer McCollum's on her way. Staff Sergeant, can we count on your help? You'll have what you need from me, Lieutenant. Salt, you with me? Always. Gator, get the Admiral on the line. Copy. Comms officer, Stratcom, top cat solver. Roger. Tigris captain on deck. Captain Farron. Lieutenant, who's in charge here? Lieutenant Reyes, SCAR team leader. Captain, your ship and crew? Intact. Sir, Admiral Reyes is on the line. Put him through. Captain Farron, ladies, gentlemen, it's good to see you. Sir. Let me make our situation absolutely clear. We are now at war with the Settlement Defense Front. Due to Captain Alder's use of force, the enemy was driven into retreat. At this time, Tigris and Retribution are the only operable ships we have. Our course of action moving forward is to buy Earth time while we rebuild our fleet. Understood, Admiral. Tigris is prepared for tasking. Today's attack was not limited to Geneva. Set Def launched a concurrent strike on the Moon Gateway port, and those cargo terminals received freight critical to rebuilding our fleet. So your mission is to retake that port. Lieutenant Reyes, I'm promoting you to the rank of commander. You are now the acting captain of retribution. Roger that, Admiral. Keep the enemy away from home. Godspeed, Captains. Topcat out. We've got no air wing. We'll go without it. That's how we do things in the infantry, Lieutenant. We'll insert the Marines from retribution. I'll provide overwatch from Tigris. Let's go to work, Captain Reyes. Stay sharp out there, all of you. You too, Captain. You got some shoes to fill now, Captain. We've got limited boots and guns. Lieutenant Salter and I will deploy with you. This is a ground assault. Captain's place is on the bridge. Not this, Captain. Not today. Marines take point. You ride in with us. See how the view changes. Muster on the well deck at five, Staff Sergeant. Copy. Get us going, Gator. Lunar Gateway. Aye, sir. Plotting your course. We'll notify when ready, Captain. Commander Reyes. Captain Alder's operations office is now yours. Be advised, his effects are still in place. Thanks, boats. The indomitable Captain John Alder. The captain is dead. Long live the captain. Hey, Nick. Yeah? You can do this. You're the best we've got. High praise coming from you, Nora. You earned it, Raider. I'll give you a moment. Now, is is this like my little uh, hub area? I don't remember. Use arrow keys to navigate. Kind of cool, I guess. Uh, is there anything else I can do in here? Wow, West 
Ranger speed? Wild East, 9th century China Tang Dynasty. Invention of gunpowder. That's where I was born. You know your history. Book of Fort 6th grade. It's a real scar. Meaner than a wet panther, but she had other attributes. I couldn't wait to get to class. What'd you get on the report? C minus. Purposely used pencils. Immediate grounds for detention due to extra hours. Mission accomplished. I like school. Six hours a day of regimented, repetitive instruction. Sounds familiar. Lockstep marching, dressing alike, and following the rules. A little structure and group mentality can soothe the soul, Lieutenant. Soldiers aren't cheap, Chief. Not at all. But every machine's got cogs, springs, pins, coils, innocuous by themselves, but put them in their proper place, and you've got something powerful and precise. That ain't shooting. This drill scout taught you well, man. I know from a pay grade when it comes to the finer points of war, Lieutenant, but I'll be damned if we can't find some solace in the simple beauty of a sidearm. I, I almost stopped uh, listening to that. So are all these audio logs? No, I guess not. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess what I'll do is I'll end the gameplay because I've hit that about hour mark that I like to hit. And, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I remember really liking this game because I really like the setting. Like, I'm a sucker for any, any, any shit like this where it's futuristic, especially if you go into space and shit like that. I mean, I just gobble this shit up. You, you know a game series... Or not a game series, it's a series, right? That's never, that I can think of, had a really great video game is Gundam. And there's been good games here and there, but like, where is like, a game like this, but it's a Gundam game? Like, I don't understand. Or how come like, Macross has never had like an amazing video game? It just seems like there's these series that deserve just phenomenal video games, and they just, it's never happened. It just, it just confuses the shit out of me. I don't get it. While I'm crying, I wish Transformers would get a, a new game. I know there is a new one coming out, but I'm not really excited about it. But anyway, uh, I am going to go. I'm going to check out the audio level and pay a little closer attention on this one. See how it is. And then I'll make adjustments. But either way, I'm out. I'll see you when I see you.